All right, we'll start off with uh, Slade. Congratulations on another good outing. Thank you. you did, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 113 pitches. You did a career-high seven innings. Can you uh, take us through with that? Uh, yeah, I went out there. Um, body felt good, arm felt good. Threw as many strikes as I could. And that was the focus again this week. Uh, you had a little bit of a jam there in the fourth inning, if I'm not mistaken. I think the bases were loaded, and eventually you got uh, the, the batter to pop out to Tony Jenkins in uh, center field. What was going through your mind in that situation? Uh, same thing, you know, just um, work ahead of these guys, throw strikes, um, make them earn their way on. How do you feel now? I feel good. You think you could go another uh, seven innings uh, the next game? Absolutely. Oh, perfect, perfect. Alex. Congratulations on your ninth home run, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, thank you. And uh, can you take us through that one? Well, your pitching was obviously holding us down pretty good this game, and I feel like hitting is contagious, and once Del Castillo got that line drive to break it open in center field, it just it boosted confidence for the next guy, and it happened to be me, and I got my pitch, and I was able to do what I was able to do with it. You were able to get another home run on Sunday, but it was like an otherwise like not very productive weekend. When you go through like little mini slumps or you go hitless through a game, like what goes through your mind? How do you like mentally prepare for those kinds of games? Just kind of got to forget. Like, in that bat, within the game, you know, you, you miss a pitch, you kind of have a focal point on the field, just brush that pitch off. That's it. Like next pitch is coming, you, you focus point. And I think Lopes has done a great job instilling that with me. Obviously, struggled with that in the past, and I feel like this year he's, he's been really working hard with me, and I thank him. There's a lot of players that have like a bunch of like routines. They use the same bats, the same gloves when they're hitting. Do you do? Do you go through any of that? I um, just kind of focus on what I'm doing at that moment. I don't use the same bat, same batting gloves. I honestly have like 16 pair of batting gloves. I don't, I don't do anything specifically besides once I step in the box, I'm in the box, and once I step out of the box, I'm out of the box. This is uh, your first uh, midweek series of like two games because you usually have one game. Right. So since usually Slade gets the Wednesday game, what? how did you go through the process of picking a pitcher for yesterday's game with uh, Tyler Kaiser? Well, what you do is you basically you throw a number of guys. You know, guys are limited to how many they can throw. You're throwing your bullpen. Uh, so Tyler at the, at the time, basically he's on a pitch count, but we were hoping to get, you know, three innings out of him. I think we got four innings out of him. Uh, well, three was what we were looking at, but he got four. And then you're 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 basically bringing in guys out of the pen to get their you know their their innings in or their number of pitches to throw. It worked out good for us that I believe I'm right when I say Mari Belize and Fetterman came in after him and they all kind of worked in succession there. Um, tonight we wanted we it, it kind of worked itself out. Slade probably went an extra inning than we thought, but he was throwing good. And he had a quick quick inning there that uh, one inning, so we. You know, we went with them there, but Mixon came in and threw his inning, and JP threw theirs, and they, those guys need to throw because if they didn't, they're gonna have to go throw a pen because they got to throw sometime this week before we get to the weekend. So that worked out perfectly, um, and so we, and we'll have to do that again because we'll have uh, another, I think, two weeks. Next week we'll have five games, and then a little bit later down the road we have a a, a, a five game uh, during the week, two games on Tuesday, Wednesday, I guess. So. Um, and we'll do the same thing. So you see a lot of teams do that when they come play us in midweek games. They they don't throw a starter sometimes over the years. They'll they'll, they'll go throw, platoon, right? Yeah, the Charlie Holstaff or whatever you want to call it. They'll throw the whole pen. I've seen teams come in where they throw nine guys one inning. And uh, th that makes it tough for your hitters because you're seeing something different every time. So it's hard to get timing and rhythm off of a guy and get the feel for him. So, so um, you know, but uh, – but you got to be able to deal with that. You got to be able to adjust to the pitchers that are coming in. So, but it worked out good for us. We were able to throw the main, you know, guys that we wanted to throw, and and uh, so everybody should be good to go in terms of uh, the weekend series. How happy were you with Mixon? Very happy. All of them. Uh, you know, JP pounded the zone here. He uh, threw only eleven pitches in one inning. Mark threw sixteen, but Mark, I mean. Both of them threw strikes. Mark had a slider, a strikeout on a slider, which is certainly a pitch he needs to have, being a guy who throws from down here. And uh, I thought JP was a lot more under control of his emotions, and he was um, not rushing. And uh, like I told you, very, very happy. Maybe takeaway from these two games is the fact that our bullpen threw very, very well. Very happy about that.